with a special Mother's Day edition of Food and Fiction. I've chosen How to Bake the Perfect Life by Barbara O'Neill. This novel features Ramona Gallagher, a woman who has experienced a really tough life, but who's found such joy in running a bakery in Colorado Springs. Ramona's daughter, Sophie, has to leave for Afghanistan, where her husband was injured, and leaves her 13-year-old stepdaughter, Katie, with Ramona to deal with. And there are so many layers to this heartwarming, complex, and poignant novel that really speaks to the mother-daughter relationship. This family of strong women really resonated with me. As one reviewer put it so well, each generation knows the basic recipe for mother love, but each must tweak it to fit their individual needs and situation and each generation tries not to repeat the perceived mistakes of their own mothers. Intertwined in this story is the healing magic of homemade bread. Ramona relies on patience, persistence, and the reliability of a good recipe to forge a relationship with this troubled teen that has been left in her care. Throughout the novel are hints and recipes about baking. I chose a very simple one for white bread. As Ramona meets Katie in the beginning, she chooses to give her just this. And she says, bread I know, bread I love. Bread can hold this young girl in its cozy grip for a moment of peace. White bread will mist over her troubles, obscure some of that terror. Now, I don't know if this bread recipe can do all that, but I do hope that you enjoy making it. Also, this novel is available on New Hampshire Downloadables, so please think about checking it out. So let's get going and try this white bread recipe.
recipe only required flour, sugar, salt, water, and yeast, one of the most simple but satisfying combination of ingredients. I hope you can make this with your own children or grandchildren at home while we try to stay safe and enjoy our own healing magic of homemade bread. Take care everyone and until next time, this is Food and Fiction. Thanks for watching.